Hey, welcome back to Die Cash Cars. So today, by popular demand, I wanted to go through buying and selling Hot Wheels. And what better way to do that than to go through a real life example. Right here in front of you, I have a lot that I recently purchased. It just came in the other day. And my ultimate goal with this lot is to sell off a good portion of this lot and be able to keep some of these cars at no cost. So I made this purchase from my buddy and it's actually comprised of two different lots. So you got the nine Toyota trucks here on the left and then you got the nine Honda Civic EFs on the right. The Toyotas my buddy had actually listed for $20. So that was a no brainer, especially with the price of those 87 Toyota pickups right now. They're roughly about $15 a piece. And then the other Toyota trucks are definitely just an added bonus. So 20 bucks was an absolute steal for that one. And then the Honda Civic EFs on the right, that lot cost me a grand total of $100. So altogether I paid $120 for both lots and then an additional $10 for shipping. So I honestly don't think I would have gotten such an awesome deal if I wasn't actively part of the community. The seller, him and I have done deals numerous times in the last couple of years. So definitely keep in touch with your community. Even if it's just one particular page that you're always on, buying, selling, and trading. It's always good to build up that rapport with fellow collectors. So getting into my selling strategy, I know that this lot has a built-in equity of about $70 on top of the 130 that I paid for it. That should give me plenty of room to keep a hand few of these cars and also sell the remaining cars at a pretty good price below market value so that all parties are happy. Cause that's the last thing I want is for myself to be unhappy with the deal or the person buying cars for me is unhappy with the price. So I always like to keep things as fair as possible. And looking at this lot, there are four cars that I know I definitely want to keep at the end of the day. Two from the Honda lot, the Zamac Honda Civic EF, as well as the Teal Honda Civic EF. So I needed these to complete my Honda Civic EF collection. As you guys have seen in my one of my previous videos where I had purchased a 160 lot of JDM cars, I was able to get the red and the black Honda Civic EFs. And then more recently, I did purchase this Kmart KD exclusive Honda Civic EF in the blue. And the last two cars I wanted to keep are from the Toyota lot. So the Pikes Peak Toyota Tacoma, as well as the silver Toyota Tundra. So no rhyme or reason why I wanted to keep these two cars. I just think they're neat. I'm a sucker for these old carded Hot Wheels when JDM really wasn't a thing. And I'm really digging these uh, faster than ever wheels on the Pikes Peak Toyota Tacoma. So these remaining 14 cars are what I have to work with, what I'm trying to sell to recoup my $130 original investment. So when I post things up for sale, guys, I like to keep it as sweet and simple as possible. First, I'm just gonna try to sell all 14 of these cars in one giant JDM lot and list it at the exact price that I want at $130. Another recommendation for you guys is that when you go to list your cars, the price should include shipping. I feel like that just makes things so much easier and it takes away that mystery from a buyer's perspective to how much you're actually going to charge them. So this post went up at about 10 o'clock the other day and immediately I was getting comments within the posts as well as instant messages and they were all kind of centered around the same reoccurring theme of can you split the lot so i literally had one gentleman ask me for just the 87 toyota pickups and then another gentleman asked me specifically just for the honda civic efs so one rule of thumb for you guys when you guys are selling cars in the open market definitely be flexible because if you're not if you're too firm on your price if you're too firm on keeping your lot being sold together you're going to lose out on those sales so the buyer interested in the 87 toyota pickup trucks he really was just interested in those three and because i had to break up the lot i let him know that i wouldn't be able to give him that bulk price discount so looking at comparables for each one of these cars they're all roughly around 15 dollars plus ship plus you got to pay fees depending if you're buying on ebay or whatever site that you're looking to purchase these cars off so how I undercut the market and undercut eBay was I gave him a deal of 
$15 a piece, so $45, and I'll cover shipping. He was fine with that deal, so within the first hour, I had my first sale of these cars from this lot at $45. So with that sale, I went back, updated my listing, and made it just about the Honda Civic EFs. These last remaining seven cars, I just put a price on it of $100. I know that secondary market price, these are going for way more than that. I know the EF and EFs in red are selling for about $15 a piece. The teal is about $15. The Zamac is about $35. The black is $15, and the Kmart exclusive is $25. So so about 130 135 value for all seven of these but i felt like i didn't want to sit on this lot too long and i wanted to give that added discount and added bonus for potential buyers to be more interested in this lot so hundred dollars it is and by the end of that work day at around four o'clock i got a message from a buyer no negotiation he was fine at the price he just said sold and paid for it so I kid you not guys within six hours of listing these cars I was able to sell just 10 cars out of the lot for $145 shipped you figure both of these lots it'll cost me about seven to eight dollars a piece to ship so essentially I break even at $130 so then in result guys I was able to meet my targets and actually surpass it just a little bit the highlight definitely has to be the Honda Civic EFs, the Zamek and the Teal, which were two that I really wanted out of the lot. I also got the two Toyota trucks that I wanted, the Pikes Peak Tacoma and the Silver Tundra. And then the Cherry on top, the four Toyota truck main lines. So pretty ecstatic on the outcome. I was able to add to my EF collection. And this is just a perfect example of the kind of deals that are out there every week, if not every day that you could make especially in periods of time where there's definitely droughts at the store or maybe the competition is so high it's really not a bad idea to go online and just search for deals from fellow collectors i mean this example here it's just that it's a reference point it's not going to work every time so depending on what cars you buy what lots you buy you want to do your research to make sure that you have that opportunity later on to sell it if that's your intention let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what kind of deals you got going on. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars. Mm -hmm.